Mm, good morning, Toe Beans. I apparently left a digital watch with an alarm on. Not necessarily the worst thing. We are a little bit hungry, so I'm going to grab a cheese sandwich. So, last night, just read the Carpentry Level 1 book, did a few maintenance things around the base, washed myself up, topped off our water. Goal today is to go and start leveling up Carpentry, as well as to find the Level 2 Carpentry book, which I left somewhere in the rich people part uh, across the street from us. No one in this town smokes. It's very annoying. Was it up here that I left the carpentry book? I'm not really sure. Oh, you're over there. All right, well. Yep, come on, buddy. I need your leather jacket to... Turn that into strips. Maybe even get some thread. We did not. Ah, there we go, carpentry level two. Now it's time to start disassembling everything. Yeah! these planks and a bunch of nails that are on the floor we're gonna clean the leather strips and we're going to fill up all of our various bleach bottles with water I'm gonna take the doorknob as well for when we need to build a door into our base we have three planks which is enough to board up one window and a handful of zombies right by our base Again, why we need to build up our defenses sooner rather than later. Anybody got any goodies? Nope. Ah, that second barricade just leveled up our carpentry. So, still a little ways to go until we can really start building the useful stuff. Wooden crates, for example, we need to be level 3, and I believe we need to be level 4 for rain collectors, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I know there's at least a couple more tool sheds. I believe two more in this section. So, I will want to check those out. That's a very... Ooh, actually. So, I see some boarded up windows on this house, which generally means that this is like... Uh, a survivalist house, I guess you would call it. Which quite often has a lot of really good stuff in it. This lady seems to want to throw a wrench in that. Not gonna happen. Now, I'm not sure if unbarricading these windows gives any experience to carpentry. Let's take a look. 2.35... As I was saying, 2.35. Unbarricade this window, get some planks. So it does give us experience, not much, but definitely some. Ooh, a gun. And four boxes of rounds. Okay, this is a what I would guess is a survivalist house antibiotics that's huge you know what we're just gonna we're gonna take the alcohol wipes the antibiotic antibiotics obviously I got a bunch of stuff in that first aid kit oh shit and a full condition on the spiked bat and crowbar as well 
Yeah, we are like crazy over encumbered, but for a haul like this, that's to be expected. Oh my god, there's even more? I'm gonna try and... Oh, a big backpack. Come on, I need your backpack. I believe that is the best backpack in the vanilla game, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I do have a metric shit ton of mods installed, so that might not be the case in this current save file, but still, a big backpack is nothing to shake a stick at. Alright, there is way too much stuff in here. I'm going to have to come back, but holy shit, what a find, as I'm walking into a closet. I'm going home to the place where I belong. Ooh. Well, as I was walking back, I seem to have messed up my... Yeah, that's not good. Oh, well. All right, I did some inventory management. Gonna barricade these windows up as best I can. All that extra weight seems to have hurt us a fair bit, though. We are also excessively exerted, again, from carrying all the extra weight, so I'm going to drop off everything we don't need. I'm also going to read Electrician Volume 1. So we can disassemble all the various goodies that we have and start leveling up our electrical skill. Alright, it is the morning of day four little bit hungry so let's just eat a whole lemon because that's what people do when they're hungry take a look at my weight uh, only going down very slightly but we are not finding any new cigarettes so I think that's going to be first and foremost first and foremost our goal for today. I see a few cars up there which are among the best places to get cigarettes. I do see a key over here. That looks like it would be for a hippie van though. I'm gonna rip up that leather jacket. This minibus looks beat to shit, but hopefully there are some cigarettes. Matches and twine. Let's see if there's anything in the trunk. A tote bag. An annotated map. Or West Point. Well, not making it there anytime soon. There's a moving truck up there, but there's a lot of zombies by it. I'm not sure if it's really worth the, the risk. Oh. Two hits, two kills there at the beginning. Very nice. Uh, I don't love all the zombies there, but we can... Use the fence to outsmart them, hopefully. Willie, you're embarrassing me. Anybody got any cigarettes? Nope, but a watch.
Well, I guess I'll just disassemble the door. Door hinge. Definitely going to be helpful. Ooh, salamis. Haven't read this electronics magazine. We are going to dismantle that radio. There wasn't shit in this house. All right. Yep. Let's see if we can bait over a couple at a time. Perfect. Well, did not mean to wake up all the ones across the street, but I suppose things very rarely go according to plan in the apocalypse. Yes! Cigarettes. I got probably disproportionately excited about that, but I get really stressed out when my guy is running low on cigarettes in this game. 127 capacity, that's pretty cool. Uh, lighter and some adhesive bandages, a battery. No key. Dude, Willie, you are struggling with windows today, man. You're embarrassing me in front of the toe beans. And then you missed that entirely. Shit. Okay, they keep coming. Less than ideal. Hey, our maintenance leveled up. I got some watches and such out of that. Yep, she saw me. Not a very stealthy burglar. Can't get any windows open. Alright, fuck this. I'm gonna take the meat cleaver. I believe you need those to make spears if I start leveling up my foraging. Pazuzu. I believe that's the truck outside. Already have first aid volume one at home, but I'm going to take apart this radio. And this TV. We're actually going to disassemble some of this stuff as long as we're here. <laughs> Interrupting our carpentry, I see. I interrupted your living. Or... Unliving? And that should be enough to... Get us where we need to go. Let's take a look at this truck's condition. It's in kind of rough shape. Well... Once we level up our mechanics, we do have a key for it. We can always work on it. Uh, box trucks are certainly very nice. They have, a, as I'm sure you can imagine, a lot of capacity. I hear a zombie. Oh, there they are. Oh, 
I guess we're just going to dismantle all the digital watches in my inventory. Well, got us a, a few skill points there, and I'm going to have a cigarette on the way back to our base. I don't like that over there. I'm going to ignore it and keep on walking. Anybody move in while we were gone? Doesn't look like it. Let's go do some inventory management. Well, just heard somebody shooting at zombies. One of those meta events. Which is great, because that will draw them away from our base. Which is exactly where they do not belong. Anywhere the fuck near me. A little bit hungry, but love to go out and level up carpentry some more. Before we turn in for the evening, we should be able to, to hit the next level. Can I disassemble these fences for carpentry experience? Okay, I don't know if that's a good idea, but in the future, that information is great to have. Tell you what, we're going to pop those in the fridge as well, since power's still on. Bunch of vegetables as well. We should be able to take the time and level up our various skills now. Let's disassemble this TV. Cooking volume 5, magazines and newspapers, sure, just in case we get bored, and then we can disassemble these shelves. Hey, leveled up carpentry, very nice. Here is zombie, but I don't see it, so I'm going to ignore it and pretend it's not a thing. You know, like a healthy human being would. I'm going to go toss these various frozen and perishable goodies in the fridge and freezer before I forget. Now, you sweet toe beans, I know this hasn't been the most exciting of episodes so far, so I do apologize about that. Uh, that's kind of the nature of the beast with early game and Project Zomboid. A lot of necessary but not overtly exciting activities going on. I still have a hammer. Ah, I'm holding it. I'm also going to read Carpentry Level 2 before we go to bed. Or at least part of it, because this will take him a while, seeing as he is a slow reader. Alright. Woke up, we need a cigarette. As you can tell by the anxious Moodle over there. Moodle. <laughs> And I'm going to finish up reading Carpentry Volume 2. Get that leveled as best I can. We are quite hungry, so... Gonna eat a burrito? And just a uh, whole potato, I guess. Raw. That's... Good for you, that's impressive. Alright, so <clears throat> with our carpentry being level 2, we do have the ability to create wooden wall frames now. So I think that is going to be a big part of my goal in the near future, is getting our base walled off. However, I don't know what to do about this small fence here. I guess we'll just burn that bridge when we come to it. Excuse me, miss. Oh. Brutal. Ah, metallic dress style. Digital watch. That. Because Willie is a classy man.
actually getting a lot more planks than nails from this fence, which is a nice change of pace. However, I do really need nails. I've yet to find any boxes of nails that I'm aware of. In terms of the double door, what level do we need to be six? Not ideal, but certainly not the end of the world either. Now it's time to go check those sheds out. Let's see if we can find any boxes of nails. Apparently I already need a say Oh, well, not already. I guess I spent all morning reading that book. Have a little smoke. Welding rods. Hey, a box of nails. Ask ye shall receive. The game is being really good to us. Unpack that. No, that's... I meant unpack the nails in the box, but... There we go. That's a hundred nails. Another plank, another hammer. Sure, why not? Alright, the plan now is to spend the rest of the evening... Uh, ...trying to build up the barrier around our base. I'm probably going to do that off-camera. That would make the most sense because, again, uh, a lot of the early game in Project Zomboid is uh, repetitive and kind of grindy and not the most exciting to watch. Uh, very fun to play, but... What do you mean I don't have enough planks? Um, so I think I'm going to leave the episode there, Tobeans. As always, I really appreciate y'all taking the time out of your days, mornings, and evenings to watch the, uh, the content that I am creating. Uh, please remember to like the video, leave a comment in the section below, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and the channel a lot with YouTube's finicky at the best of times algorithm so again i hope you beautiful toe beans have a beautiful beautiful night this is them curvy toes signing off remember toe beans like comment subscribe or else i'll cry myself to sleep tonight